because mm -hmm. it was a similar problem in a way because people want to go to an extraordinary monument in that, in that case and they want to touch it. Yep. And it's natural, which isn't we it? It's, allowed it's to a, do. Yes, yes which yep. you used to be able yep. to do. And yep. it's a completely natural thought process. I mean, Terry's in the business of you know, engaging people in history in a different way. But in a way, you're saying, great, come, but just not too close. I think we've got some key messages and we've... I mean, ca can you not just ban people from climbing on the wall? Well, no. Uh, we, no, we certainly can't. Advice to people who want to go and see it and don't want to damage it. Um, where, where should they go and what's the best bit to see? Touch it, preserve it, would you? Uh, absolutely. Jill Mills as well. Thank you both. I think you're back later. To just, thank you. If anybody's got questions, thanks both. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Time now is just coming up to quarter past eight. Our main stories this morning. Excessive bureaucracy is getting in the way of cutting youth unemployment in England, according to council leaders. The prison service has ordered an urgent investigation after traces of pork were found in food supplied to jails as halal meat products. Let's see what else is coming up in the programme. Investigating financial fraud against you. Our money expert Paul Lewis will be here. Weather in just a couple of moments. First, though, for many of us, the thought of diving off a board 10 metres up is a pretty terrifying one. But imagine doing it if you were only six. Oscar Piper is one of the UK's youngest and smallest competitive divers. Even at this early age, he has his heart set on an Olympic medal. Simon Clemson has been to watch Oscar in training. Tips on how to jump off high things. He's going to be here, isn't he? Yeah, After yeah, nine o'clock this morning. He can encourage us over the edge, can't he? Yep, yeah, he will be here with his mum. Um, right, let's catch up with the weekend's weather. Ben is going to tell us all about it. Very good morning. Yeah, hi there, Charlie. Very much. Just looking around for some of the uh, front pages for you. We're going to do those in just a minute. I'm ahead of myself. Put those away again. The longer grass. And the front page of the Daily Mail talking about uh, Big Brother. Where should we start? We've already started with the H HS2, but we'll go there in a minute, shall we? Yes, quite frightened of Charlie now. <laughs> Don't say that. We'll, we'll talk about, th that's about trains. First of all... Let's talk about uh, these new ideas uh, for childcare and how... The yeah. Absolute bedlam. I think she worked out to do the loo run, because, of course, two-year-olds there, they, do they ping in their pants? Do they ping in a nappy? Do they need to be taken to the loo? That alone... We're going to talk about the sports Which stars. Which one should we do? Right, where are we? Yep, sports yes, oh Making my goodness. Money. There are too many gold medalists. The next half hour. Why well, I visit to your G State and Louise Minchin. Time now is uh, 8.32. Here's our main stories this morning. Too much paperwork and too many schemes are making youth unemployment worse not better. That's according to local councils. The local government has said... ...after traces of pork DNA were found in some halal meat supplied to jails. The government has ordered the withdrawal... ...people in civil partnerships will not be getting a tax break in next month's budget. There's been speculation... ...on the latest high-profile website for victim to hackers. The company officials said about a quarter of a million... News ...at least one person's been killed and dozens injured during violent clashes between police and protesters in Egypt overnight. The French president has arrived in Mali where his troops have been helping the government stop Islamist militants trying to take over the country. Francois Hollande. Around 200 birds are now known to have been found washed up dead at Chesil Beach in Dorset. They're among hundreds found along a 200 mile stretch of the south coast. The Environment Agency. Six celebrities have completed a challenge to travel under their own steam down Africa's Zambezi River for comic relief. Dara O'Brien. Safe and sound after a few ups and downs along the way. Yes, exactly. Cap sizes and everything. Uh, those are the main stories this morning. Uh, ben will have uh, the weekend's weather in about 10 minutes' time. Over 74,000 people are expected at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff this morning. It is, of course, the start of the Six Nations, and Mike is there all on his. Well, there's a few people there now, Mike. Football news. <laughs> That's right, Mike. Thank you. Morning, thank Dan. You. Morning. Got, we're rid of, got rid of Bushall, yeah. I can yeah. spread it. I can back and tell you what's going on on Football Focus and what we're sort of concentrating on. Yeah, saying hello. Think, thinking he was going to sign at Queen's Park Rangers. Was he just very misguided? Well, I mean, what, what I was... I think poor... <sighs> whole thing is on the Monday Night Club on Radio 5 Live on Monday night, bizarrely enough. Uh, we've also got Gordon Strachan on talking about his first predictions oh, against... Oh, very clever. Very good. 12.15 so on BBC One. Thank good you then. very much. Thank you. Thank you. It is at 8.48. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Main stories here this morning. Excessive a little bit later in the programme. Fears that parts of the UK... Walking weather for the weekend. Ben's got the details for us today. Yeah, good morning. Ben, thank you very much. We'll have more from you later. Thank you. 8.51 the time now. From April, local police forces will no longer accept reports of financial fraud from the public as a new system of dealing with the crime is rolled out 
across the UK. Yes, people will be told to call a national agency called Action Fraud, which will decide which cases to investigate. Paul Lewis from Radio 4's Monday and why it's being made. Morning. Hello, Louise. Well, it's... I mean, what will happen? Because people might well still think, you know, I I've been victim of some kind of fraud, I'll call the police. What will, what will they say to you? Yeah. Well, they will... this, actually. Well, I know you have more details in your programme, uh, Radio 4 um, Lunchtime today. More on Moneybox Radio 4 at noon, as ever, and more on my Twitter feed. See, their doctor might soon find themselves with a prescription that they weren't expecting. Not for tablets or for medicine, but actually for a book. Yes, a scheme which prescribes literature to those with mental health problems is already popular in Wales, now being launched in England. Debbie Hicks is from the reading agency and Dr James... Hi. Um, it sounds like a sort of unusual idea. Is this something that you would actually prescribe or reading a book? Oh, absolutely. Well, yes, we, we're starting... Specific to a condition. Are we talking about literature? Someone comes in saying, you know, I'm, I don't know. Can you give us an example of somewhere where it might be appropriate? Well, in the first... With information yes. and things that do with something, something slightly more unusual, which absolutely. is the idea that this could be good for you in a much more general sense. Absolutely. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of evidence... Doctors I know say the internet, the information on the internet, for example, a, a, a patient can come in armed with terror about a condition because they've mm, read so you know yeah. they've gone and they're going oh my word this is me i've you know they come in and place themselves in all the rest of it we know that libraries are yeah. closing they're one of the things at the front line of yeah. council cuts so you're going to say go and get this book and then somebody goes into the library they can't get it i mean it sounds an extraordinary thing to do if you, you prescribe it yeah. you're not going to give them the books are you well um the society of chief librarians have been working very That's thank right. you very thank much thank you i'm looking at the books the, the, all the books as well to kill a mockingbird years ago you hardly ever heard this <laughs> Hello, very good morning. This is Breakfast with Charlie State and Louise Minton. What to do about the one million young people who can't find... Good morning, it's Saturday the 2nd of February. Also ahead, an urgent investigation. Uh, ben has the weather for you. Good morning. Says the present system is overly complicated and a more local approach to tackling the situation could cut the number out of work by a fifth. Prison Service has launched an urgent investigation after traces of pork DNA. They may well be thinking I should change it anyway. Yeah. Bring us up to date on the situation today. The French president has arrived in Mali where his troops have been helping the government stop Islamist militants trying to take over the country. Francois Hollande will... Around 200 birds are now known to have been found washed up dead at Chesil Beach in Dorset. They're among hundreds... Six celebrities have completed a challenge to travel under their own steam down Africa's Zambezi River for minutes past nine. And Ben will bring you the full weekend's weather forecast in about five minutes' time. A Muslim family say they've been forced to leave their home after being the victims of sustained racial abuse. What is happening to you and your family? Um, we just said that you, you found your son planning an escape route. Did you he yeah, campaign I against so, yeah. you? I believe so, yeah. Uh, why do you say that? It's just, yeah. Why? Israel, who's an organisation, Faith Matters, looks into anti-Muslim attacks. Um, have you heard about other cases like this? We have a moment. And um, Murad, just uh, tell us a little more about how, how the, you've approached this. I mean, we found that there was, it was more than an isolated incident. You've had contact with the police? Mm -hmm. Yeah, police were... Racism towards yourself or your family. I mean, is this totally at odds with anything yeah, that's definitely. happened before? I've, you know, I've never really experienced racism. You're talking about, um, you felt so uncomfortable with all of this, you've had to leave, have you? Yeah, my wife and kids moved out. Taking a very high profile, if you like, approach to it. Is, yeah, I think is, people need to be aware. I think. Talking about um, the fact that you see, you think you're seeing a rise um, in all of this. Um, how would you explain it? I'm busy dealing with the practical problems your family is facing. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you both Thanks for your time me. this morning here on Breakfast. Thank you. You are watching Breakfast from BBC News. Let's remind you of our main stories here this morning. An excessive bureaucracy. We'll have more on that later. First, though, let's catch up on the weather. Ben has it all for us. It's going to be a nice weekend. Morning. Uh, yes, Ben, we shall enjoy it. Thank you very much. It's exactly 20 minutes past nine now. The Hadrian's Wall Trust is warning that parts of the World Heritage Site is being worn away by poor weather and, importantly, the increase in visitors. Yes, the number of walkers there has risen dramatically, with the site attracting more than three million people last year. Now the Trust is asking for help trying to preserve the area so that its popularity doesn't damage the archaeological archaeology.
<laughs> that lies beneath. Joining us now is Dr. Nigel Mills from the Hadrian's Ward Trust and from our Newcastle studio, the author of The Horrible History. First of all, let's talk about uh, these new ideas uh, for childcare and how the yeah. absolute bedlam. I think she worked out to do the loo run because, of course, two year olds there, they, do they ping in their pants? Are they ping in a nappy? Do they need to be taken to the loo? That alone. We're going to talk about the sports. Which do? Right, where are we? Yep, sports. Yes, stars. oh Making my goodness. A lot of money. There are too many gold medalists. The next half hour. Why well, I visit your G State and Louise Minchin. Time now is uh, eight thirty-two. Here's our main stories this morning. Too much paperwork and too many schemes are making youth unemployment worse, not better. That's according to local councils. The local government is investigation after traces of pork DNA were found in some halal meat supplied to jails. The government has ordered the withdrawal. People in civil partnerships will not be getting a tax break in next month's budget. There's been speculation. On the latest high-profile website for victim to hackers, the company officials said about a quarter of a million users. At least one person's been killed and dozens injured during violent clashes between police and protesters in Egypt overnight. The French president has arrived in Mali where his troops have been helping the government stop Islamist militants trying to take over the country. Francois Hollande. Around 200 birds are now known to have been found washed up dead at Chesil Beach in Dorset. They're among hundreds found along a 200 mile stretch of the south coast. The Environment Agency. Six celebrities have completed a challenge to travel under their own steam down Africa's Zambezi River for comic relief. Around 200 birds are now known to have been found washed up dead at Chesil Beach in Dorset. They're among hundreds found along a 200 mile stretch of the south coast. The Environment Agency. Six celebrities have completed a challenge to travel under their own steam down Africa's Zambezi River for comic relief. Dara O'Brien. Safe and sound after a few ups and downs along the way. Yes, exactly. Cap sizes and everything. Uh, those are the main stories this morning. Uh, ben will have uh, the weekend's weather in about 10 minutes' time. Over 74,000 people are expected at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff this morning. It is, of course, the start of the Six Nations, and Mike is there all on his. Well, there's a few people there now, Mike. Football news. <laughs> That's right, Mike. Thank you. Morning, Thank Dan. You. Morning. And got, we're rid of, got rid of Bushel, yeah. I can yeah. spread a yeah. ball back and tell you what's going on on Football Focus and what we're sort of concentrating on. Uh, hello. Think, thinking he was going to sign at Queen's Park Rangers. Was he just very misguided? Well, I mean, what, what I was... I think poor... <sighs> whole thing is on the Monday Night Club on Radio 5 Live on Monday night, bizarrely enough. Uh, we've also got Gordon Strachan on talking about his first fictions. Oh, very clever. Very good. 12.15 so on BBC One. Thank good you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It is at 8.48. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Main stories here this morning. Excessive a little bit later in the programme. Fears that parts of the UK... Walking weather for the weekend. Ben's got the details for us today. Yeah, good morning. Ben, thank you very much. We'll have more from you later. Thank you. 8.51 the time now. From April, local police forces will no longer accept reports of financial fraud from the public. As a new... But years ago, you hardly ever heard this. Hello, very good morning. This is Breakfast with Charlie State and Louise Minton. What to do about the one million young people who can't find... Good morning, it's Saturday the 2nd of February. Also ahead, an urgent investigation. Uh, ben has the weather for you. Good morning. Says the present system is overly complicated and a more local approach to tackling the situation could cut the number out of work by a fifth. Prison service has launched an urgent investigation after traces of pork DNA. They may well be thinking I should change it anyway. Yeah. Bring us up to date on the situation today. The French president has arrived in Mali, where his troops have been helping the government stop Islamist militants trying to take over the country. Francois Hollande will... Around 200 birds are now known to have been found washed up dead at Chesil Beach in Dorset. They're among hundreds... Six celebrities have completed a challenge to travel under their own steam down Africa's Zambezi River for minutes past nine. And Ben will bring you the full weekend's weather forecast in about five minutes' time. A Muslim family say they've been forced to leave their home after being the victims of sustained racial abuse. What is happening to you and your family? Um, we just said that you, you found your son planning an escape route. Did you he yeah, campaign I against so, you? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Uh, wh why do you say that? It's just, yeah. Why? Well, who's a, 